What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and welcome to page 8 of my online air fryer for newbies cookbook. Today guys we're going to make some cheeseburgers. Alright guys this is about a pound and a half of ground beef. We're going to keep this simple as possible but I'm going to show you guys my famous applewood rub cheeseburgers. So first I'm going to season it a little bit with my go-to pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Let's go ahead and add some of that. Now we're going to add some What's Your Sister Social Sauce. That, now that gives a lot of flavor to your beef, guys. I mean to your ground, your ground beef, yeah. lots of flavor and then finally start of the show we're gonna add some apple rub if you've never tried this on your burgers it's fantastic it's great on ribs as well all right we're gonna give that a mix mix it up real good guys but don't overly mix it just to make sure it's all mixed in good. So yeah, these look a little big. They're not as thick as you think they are, but they are kind of wide. But remember, they're going to shrink. So I want you to be able to see my burger after it air fries. Because <laughs> it, like I said, it does shrink. And guys, I know you can get frozen burgers out there and stuff like that. It's just so you just seen what we did. I mean, you didn't have to use the apple rub. rub. You could just use... You know, I don't know, some onion powder, garlic powder, or salt, and pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce. That's it. That's all. That's really all you need to do decent burgers. Um, so you don't have to buy that frozen stuff because it's, no, it, it just lacks flavor, in my opinion. And you and it's just, didn't take long. It doesn't take long to make yours. And guess what? If you want frozen, guess what? Do this and freeze it. Vacuum seal it, a Ziploc bag it. And there you go. Freeze it and, and use it another day. You will have your homemade frozen burgers. Problem solved. Got my 7-quart Power XL Vortex out, the basket out. I'm going to put two of these burgers in there. All I need, I'm going to save the third one for another day. But two, two is probably all that's going to fit in here anyway. But all, two is all I need for today. All right. Let's get them in there, guys. Do one right there. And which we do this one? Oh, one like that. Before I even turn this on, I want to tell you guys this. Some people um, in my air fryer group, and just in general, I've heard uh, experience a lot of smoke coming from their air fryer when they're doing burgers, due to all of the grease coming away from the burger, and then you know high heat. You can add some water uh, to the bottom to uh, resolve this. I personally never experienced this, so that's why I'm not going to do it. I've done burgers on, I think this is my fourth air fryer, and nothing, I've not experienced any type of smoke for me to be alarmed with. It might be a little bit of smoke, but not a lot. But again, just to be safe, if you want to add some water to the bottom, that's fine. I didn't do it because I've never experienced it myself. Anywho, we're going to do 360... For 16 minutes, we'll check it at 8 minutes. Alright, 8 minutes have passed, so I'm going to give it a flip. Quick commercial break, y'all. This is my meat thermometer. Guys, if you don't have a meat thermometer, consider getting my meat thermometer. Um, I think it's about 12 bucks, but this is a pimp-like meat thermometer. First of all, it has an automatic on and off. So you just pull that out to turn it on. It has a backlight and um, it also has a magnet in the back. Comes with a battery. Has a hook. You can put, I mean, it has a hole for a hook. And you can hook this up to your, you could just put it on your refrigerator and hang it from your refrigerator because it has a magnet if you have stainless steel. Link will be in the description. 
All right. So we are all done. Let's check the temp right now with my meat thermometer. Let's see what we got. We're looking for 160. All right, 162. They hit 166. Yeah, they're done. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to do my buns. I'm going to show you a little trick. Try and put some form of a weight down to just keep it down or else it will... Won't fly up into the air fryer, but it'll just move around if you don't. So this is a um, <clears throat> pressure cooker rack. If you have any type of rack, you can put that down. Or I mean, you can really put it in your toast oven if you want. But I'm just showing you a way to do to toast your buns in your air fryer. I'm gonna do 400 for two minutes. All right, two minutes is up. I'll take this out real quick. And be careful, that is hot. See. Gives it a nice little, look at that, see that? Nice. All right guys, let's do this. Let's build this burger real quick. All right, holy guacamole, y'all. Let's get some of that on there. Oh man, that's smelling good already, man. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, let's go ahead and get our bacon on there. How am I going to do it? Something like that. Let's get our burger on. No, actually, let's put some cheese on first. And get our burger on there. Nice. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put... Onion in there. I love red onions, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to put a tomato on top of there. Let's go ahead and get some Dukes on there, y'all. And shout out to all my Hellman's folks out there. I do got some Hellman's light in my refrigerator, but I live in North Carolina, y'all. So, we use Dukes out here. But I do use Hellman's, so shout out to all of y'all. But for video purposes... And representing where I'm from, I mean where I am, is Dukes. Of course, I'm gonna need some ketchup. I know some of y'all don't like that on your burger, but that's unfortunate because I love it. Let's go ahead and smash it down. Yeah. All right, let me take a pic real quick. I'll be back. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook. You saw the paper towel go up, so you know what time it is. It's time to eat. It's not burnt, y'all. That's just the way it looks. You'll see when I take a bite into it. But first, you go ahead and take a bite first. You got it? Okay. Mmm-hmm. Mmm, that applewood, that apple rub, bomb.org. Mmm, you guys gotta try it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description to this applewood rub. It is the bomb. You got to try it on your burgers, your ribs, chicken wings. All of the above will change your life. I'm telling you. Your family will enjoy this. There's different twists to burgers or cheeseburgers. But that pretty much concludes page eight of my online air fryer for newbies cookbook. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was fun. You know, we make burgers all year round, not just in the summer, not just in the winter, all year round. So I'm sure this is something that you and your family will enjoy for sure. Guys, if you have an air fryer, whether it's this, you know, Power XL, Vortex 7 quart, or I don't know, a Kasori, um, an Instant Vortex, um, Ninja Foodie, Ninja Foodie Grill, 
um, I don't know, Go Wise, Gourmia, Cook's Essentials, whatever air fryer you have, consider joining my air fryer group. It's called Air Frying with Doug. We have uh, over 59,000 members in there. We'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer. If you need some help with some ideas, do a search and get recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. And uh, I'll put in the comments um, a link to my um, Air Fryer for Newbies playlist. So that's, it'll have all eight videos so you can see. And depending on when you see this, it'll have all of the videos, whether it be 9, 10, 20 or whatever. Because I'm going to keep making them until about, I don't know, 20 or 30. Just depends. So far, it's going well. So you guys seem to like it. I'll keep doing it. All right, but that's all I got. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's cooking with dope.